<laughs> I said you're mad. <laughs> yes, mad. I said you're mad. A little vinegar. Mm. Ah, some salt. Ah, they said I couldn't do it. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, well there you go, the old mad professor over there is sorting it out for me, getting the rust spot on, the good rust, uh, ready to apply the principles to the little limey bastard here. Now, since the last video, not much has happened, pretty much nothing on old Limey here. I did, you would have seen at the end of the last video, I had worked on, hang on. You think I would have had these on me, hey? So I have worked on one of the flares and got a patina happening. We've used a special rust effects paint. Today I'm gonna to try and show you how I've gone about that. We might use the front of the mini here, but that's not the correct one, but you can see, that's for the back left side, passenger side. But you can see the kind of effect I'm going for. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bring that rust effect up onto the, the um, top of the guard here, just above the flare, so it looks like it's all rusted together. Let's get into it, eh? So, we've got Dulux rust effects, and we've got this solution, which is sort of probably a similar kind of solution to what the Mad Professor made up. His is blue, mine's rusty looking so that gets sprayed on later okay so we, we've got to mix this up apply it randomly so I'm going to use a sponge I've got a variety of sponges here we will dab this on probably several coats so let's mix this up first you can hear and feel the metal it's probably got ultra fine filings in it you can see it here in the, in the paint okay Whoop. I'm going to go sponge to start with, like this, Whoop. we're just simply going to do that. I want more of a rust effect on the bottoms on each side, that's probably where the water would sit more likely. So we're going to, let's get this out of the way, I'm going to try and dose this up a little more down this end. This is just the first coat, okay? We'll probably do two to three coats. All right. Coat number one. We'll let that sit in the sun to dry. We'll do the others. saw me doing this side here I've actually added to this a little bit there's a lot of crackling in the paint I'd say um, if they uh, skim coated that with filler it hasn't lasted well and it's cracked up so I'm just experimenting with that can't hurt other side is now done what I've done in the corner here I've given that a light dusting with some lime green that I managed to get mixed up by eye we had to match it we couldn't get color coded to match it's not on the computers anymore and if you remember, this was all full of filler, bog and um, putty, basically, spray putty. So I've sanded that right back and exposed a bit more of the patina here. So I'm going to give that probably another light coating of the green, and then we'll leave this to all rust up as well. This is where I'm going to use the, the uh, Nutty Mad Professor's Mix, hopefully. Now I'm going to go for the bonnet. We're going to go for, uh, what I'm going to do is where there's deterioration of the paint, so I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try and turn that into that rust effect. And I might roll some up from under the lip here onto the front a little bit. And, and over these bits here. Okay.
It would be nice to get the boot lid done at the same time, but I've got too much work to do on that. Anyway, that's all I can do for today. Ciao. Day two. Day three. Day four. Three weeks later. Well, it feels like it's been several weeks, it, not quite. Um, a bit of time has gone by, and as you can see, I've uh, addressed my facial hair and had a haircut. This is a very long-winded process. I think it looks okay. I'm not really sure what I'm going for here, guys and girls. I just, this, this is all off the cuff, play it by ear. <laughs> I hope it does and looks like what I'm trying to achieve once it's all done. I want it to look grungy, neglected, um, that's sort of the, the aim of the project. I'm going to put some fatter tyres on until a bigger offset. So I didn't show you every step of the process. I just cut through that. Um, you don't want to sit here for an hour watching each step. It's very boring and repetitive. Once you've done the initial coat of the rust paint, uh, you let it sit overnight. You do a second coat. If you're not happy, you do a third coat. But you've got to leave uh, a, basically overnight between, or 12 hours between the coats, okay? Then once it's cured, we start with the uh, rust solution uh, that I sprayed it on. It says not to, but I did. And of course, it, it sort of pitted the paint around the rust. It's almost like it's stuck on. It feels like salt. That's what it feels like. But yeah, rub it on with a broad brush, random strokes. Again, two coats waiting overnight between the two coats, 12 hours, thereabouts. Once that is done, we feed the rust continually depending on how much rusting you want, depends on how much water you spray on. So if you want it darker, keep wetting it. Every day or so, we'll leave, it in, leave it in the rain if it's raining, like Brisbane always is. So that's the Mini, and the Mini is gonna take a lot longer than I thought. I thought I'd pump it out and get it out the door and cash up. But with the sale of the Ningi Nugget, my daughter's car brake blowing up, having to buy another car for her, and having to work on Redemption, the Red 82 Hilux, I'm all over the place and, and so the Mini's gonna be sort of slow on the back burner. The red truck showed up at my door twice, one by its owner and then one by a guy who bought it. And then the guy who bought it said, I've got too many cars, do you want it? So I ended up saying yes, because I've got it for a good price. <laughs> and now I've got nine in the yard. I'm fucking mad, honestly. <laughs> my neighbors must think I'm crazy. That's that weird car guy. <laughs> Shit, anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, go and check out my socials. Put them here somewhere. I'll put a link down below and check out the other videos. The last Hilux video has done really well. I'm really happy with that. It's good to see that there's some appreciation for the truck and, and, and the video itself. Well, I've got things to do. The dog's scratching at the door. Someone's vacuuming over the road. Kids riding up and down the street. So I'm gonna wind it up there. Find it, buy it, fix it, flip it. Have some fun along the way. I'm looking at the wrong part of the camera. I'm looking up here at something. Have some fun along the way. Remember Rushy, and we'll catch you next time on Flip My Ride. Ciao. <laughs> they said you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it, Adam. You're crazy. Well, who's crazy now? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa!